Hey there, Excel enthusiasts. Today I'm diving into one of the most hotly debated topics in the Excel world, lookup versus vlookup. If you've ever wondered which one to use and when, stick around because I'm about to break it all down for you. All right, let's kick things off by understanding what these functions are. Lookup and VLOOKUP are both used to find data in a table or range by row. But there are some key differences that can make one more suitable than the other depending on your needs. First up, we've got Lookup. The Lookup function is pretty flexible. It searches for a value either in a one row or one column range and returns a value from the same position in another one row or one column range. Think of it as a versatile tool that can handle both vertical and horizontal searches. For example, say you have a list of employees and their departments. You can use Lookup to find the department of an employee by searching their name. It's great for simple tasks, and because it doesn't need your data to be sorted, it's quite handy. But here's the catch. Lookup can be a bit slow with large data sets and isn't as powerful with multiple criteria. Now let's talk about Lookup. The V stands for vertical, meaning it searches for a value in the first column of a range and returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. This function is a go-to for many Excel users due to its simplicity and power. Imagine you have a product list with prices in one column. You can use VLOOKUP to find the price of a specific product quickly. It's fast and efficient, especially with large data sets. However, VLOOKUP has its limitations too. It requires the lookup value to be in the first column of your range, and it can't look to the left. Plus, your data needs to be sorted in ascending order for it to work correctly. So, when should you use lookup and when should you use VLOOKUP? If you need a flexible tool that can handle both rows and columns without sorting, go for lookup. But if you need speed and are working with vertical data that's sorted, vlookup is your best bet. In summary, both lookup and vlookup have their strengths and weaknesses. It's all about understanding your specific needs and choosing the right tool for the job. And remember, mastering these functions can save you tons of time and make your data analysis much more efficient. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Excel tips and tricks. Catch you in the next one.